Hello from CNN London, I'm Monita Rajpal. This is World Report. One person alone can't bring democracy to a country. With those words, Aung San Suu Kyi told supporters she needs their help to bring change to Myanmar. The country's ruling military junta freed the democracy activist Saturday after keeping her under house arrest for 15 of the past 21 years. The 1991 Nobel Peace Prize winner says her fellow countrymen need to work together. We all have to work together. A British couple are enjoying their first taste of freedom in more than a year. Paul and Rachel Chandler were captured by pirates last October near the Seychelles Islands. CNN's David McKenzie has been following their story. They spent more than a year in captivity in Kenya. Well, CNN's Phil Black picks up the story here in the UK where the couple was expected to arrive uh, any time now. And Phil, we understand that the couple uh, have not, are not wanting to speak to the press right now. They are asking for, their, for the privacy, but they did issue a statement. Yeah, Manita, they have released a statement through the British Foreign Office. Hundreds of thousands of pilgrims are in Mecca for the annual Hajj. CNN's Nima El Bagir is performing the Hajj herself and reporting on the experience for us. Here is her report from Arafat. Here in Arafah, it's the early hours of the morning on the first day. The number of deaths from Haiti's cholera outbreak has risen to more than 900 nationwide. Aid workers say the situation could get worse as hundreds of thousands of Haitians still live in camps 10 months after an earthquake destroyed their homes. CNN's Ivan Watson visited a refugee camp in the capital, Port-au-Prince, where he met some of those suspected of having caught cholera. The death toll from Haiti. A month's worth of rain came in 48 hours in Belgium and it left parts of the country underwater. Ivan Cabrera is at the International Weather Center with more on that. Ivan. Yeah, some officials saying it's the worst flooding they've seen there in about 50 years. Dramatic pictures. Introducing sir. Formula One's new world champion, the youngest one in the history of the sport. Oh, thank you, boys. It's amazing how uh, one purse can, can, can propel the interest of a sport uh, when uh, perhaps the, the country isn't, uh, isn't necessarily following Formula One as much as they would unless one of their countrymen is doing it. It's amazing what Vettel has done for the sport. Well, I think that Formula One is pretty popular in this country. We will have more on this uh, record-winning race for uh, Sebastian Vettel coming up on World Sport in just about two minutes. For now, I'm Juanita Rajpal in London. Thank you for watching.